what's on your mind? So your cop ways came through again. Impressive. Let's see what you've got. An ordinary white collar transceiver joins the hardcore underground. Yeah, this should do nicely. A nice story to tell himself, but don't forget, it really is just a normal, run-of-the-mill transceiver unit. All right, Lawfarer, we're ready to do this. I have to warn you, though, once we commit, there's no stopping until we've seen it all the way through. No pauses, no second chances. This is our shot. You got it. So any cop prep you got to do, do it now. We'll wait if we have to. Don't sweat that. Egg found something down near the water lock. Some maniac abandoned the perfectly good power source. That explains why it was covered in cop colours. Old things totaled, but lucky for us, the engine on the back is still perfectly good. All I have to do is run a cable from the engine up the Centaur Man's Memorial. It won't last forever, but it should buy us enough time to get you synced up with a big bad. How should I know? It's up to everyone to know their own needs. Whatever keeps your body and soul in top working condition. At the very least, you should make sure you're wearing a good pair of gloves. Personally, I'm going to make sure I've got a steady supply of prep tired, Andy. Rest of the crew has got to stay here. Can't afford to let the beat drop right as we're getting off the ground. Much love to my hardcore antenna brothers! Good luck, guys. Try to squeeze in a promo spot while you're on air. We've got to start putting the word out. Now give me an hand with these cables. It's a long walk to the roundabout. Just plug that in there, would ya? Yeah, as ready as we're gonna be. Grab one of these can sets. I've got it rigged so that we can both listen, but only your cop talk will broadcast. No idea what we're gonna hear when I turn this thing on, so be prepared for anything. Trick is to keep transmitting your request until the big bad acknowledges ya. You got that? Honestly, that might be for the best. Like I said, the signs coming off this whole project are seriously uncharted. Don't know how much juice we've got, so we better get to it. You ready? Good. We're live in two, one... A soft rustling. Between your ears, a winterscape with fast falling snow. Every light switch, every motor carriage, every doorbell, tea kettle, and radio in Martinez, all mingled with electrical interference caused by scattered thunderstorms over ozone. Hey, Lawman, we're waiting on ya! That's 
this up to you. I don't know your call sign. You're all alone out there, wandering a blasted heath, calling out to the night. But there is no reply, except for the buzzing of invisible machines. Give it another go. Nein, Liebling. Unseren Jungen nach Bredefort. Einen dieser Dinger. Marianne hat mir erzählt, dass Oskar nicht mehr seit er auf einem Luftschiff aus Gras zurückgekommen ist. Sie halten ihn die Psychologen für vollkommen normal. Aber sie hat das Gefühl, seit seiner Rückkehr mit einem Fremden zusammenzuleben. Something about her son going to Bredefort on an aerostatic to see some psychologists. Or maybe the psychologists are saying it's normal to have feelings for strangers. Foreign languages were never your strong suit. Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. Er kann doch auch nächstes Jahr zur Akademie gehen. Is that what you call those radio spookers? Didn't know they had a technical name. Either way, you gotta keep it up till we get through. Again. It's cold now. A slight frisson at the point where your neck meets your spine. You can feel the lieutenant's presence, even though he's nowhere to be found. Wow! The cop's own partner is a radio spooker. That's some other core business right there. Someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. No use, man. Don't think he can hear you. What? It's been a long winter. Long and cold. What have you gotten us into, lawman? Just run. Unplug that headset and get as far away as you can. Natürlich halten ihn die Psychologen für vollkommen normal. You just have to embrace the spookiness. Now give it another go. But someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Sunset, please acknowledge. Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. Where's your partner? Please identify. The signals are getting increasingly mixed. Plucking Archer's signal from this will be like isolating a single strand from a tangle of... This isn't looking good. The radio spookers are winning. Don't know. If we can't get around the interference, we're in deep trouble. Hold on. I think Gag gave me some sort of checklist. Hmm. Says here, main step, volume to the max. That's not too helpful. Okay. It also says, inspect connections for hardcore clarity. So let's try that. My guess. You climb up the centaur, man. See if there's anything obviously interfering with them. Maybe you've got some technical law or something. Someone has been maintaining it. Something about this setup seems dimly familiar. But you'll be damned if you know what you're supposed to do about it. Images of your body smashed against the pavement flood your mind. This is dangerous. It's got to be you. I'm manning the deck. Maybe you break an arm. Maybe you break your neck. Could go either way. Honestly. But that's what the Invalids Fund is for. So don't worry about it for now. Your gloves give you a solid grip on the metal bar. This feels pleasingly familiar. You don't exactly cut a lithesome figure, but 
After several moments of scrambling, you managed to hoist yourself atop the monument. That performance was frankly an embarrassment. The connection itself is nothing more than a little braid of exposed wire wrapped about the hoof of the horse. A copper fetter, it cannot slip. The whole monument is covered in a thin but durable layer of oil and grime. It's obvious no one has cleaned it in years. Are you partying up there? Once the alcohol has had time to dissolve the oils, you wipe off the bar with your sleeve and reattach the cable. Yeah, maybe it helped a little, but the overall picture is still pretty softcore, at best. Unser einziges Kind. Er kann doch auch nächstes Jahr zur Akademie gehen. Hang on, I'm looking at Egg's checklist. He says, if all fails, Bend antenna. Narrow is the hardcore way. That make any sense to you? It says here, muscle style. Hmm. Good question. Maybe he's saying we're casting too wide a net. Gotta narrow our receiving band so we pick up the big bed without the spookers. Since you're already up there, I say you should do it. The speed freak is right. The responsibility is yours and yours alone. There's no turning back now. You are face to face with Philip III. The Bronze King looks toward the west. Something about his features seems bizarrely distorted. His imperious gaze leads you naturally to his outstretched hand, which, for some reason, strikes you as sadly empty. Come on, kings and sabers are so played out. There's a better way. Why not arm the good king's valiant steed instead? There seems to be just enough room between its teeth there. To your surprise, the saber slides snugly between the horse's bare teeth. Wow, this is a huge leap forward for hardcore style. This faithful steed cuts a dashing figure with the replica saber between its teeth. A clear night sky. Across the river, you can see the lights of Coalition Warship Archer floating above Rivershall East. Huh? Sounds like that was a false move. Signal's even worse now. Look, I'm not a blame layer. I'm just saying, things were bad, and now they're worse. He's right. This was your responsibility. I'm gonna turn all the dials to maximum. Probably gonna burn out our power supply. But that might be the only way. A maelstrom of sound, swirling and swirling around an invisible point. It's mounting, mounting. Nicht mehr derselbe ist, seit er auf einem Luftschiff aus Gar zurückgekommen ist. Officer Sansa, 
Please respond. It's too much. Your eardrums are throbbing. About to burst. A long winter. Long and cold. And then, nothing. Try it now! This is Worship Archer. We are acknowledging and accepting you. Though, we're still getting quite a bit of interference. This is as good as it's gonna get. I'll keep us aligned as long as I can. But this isn't a social mission. You got it? There is so much you wish you could ask. But you probably only have time for one or two questions before the signal is lost. Please be advised that you are speaking on a public frequency. What is your request? A very important question with a very simple answer. We want humanity to endure. Beyond that, it may be said that we are the inheritors and stewards of Dolores Day's figure. Dolores Day. So, so beautiful. Immeasurable. It includes interisolar travel, three scientific revolutions, humanism, internationalism, the welfare state, and balance of territory. Nothing less than the intellectual foundation of our modern world. The role of the Moralist International is twofold, to buy humanity sufficient time to perfect itself, and to patiently guide it along the road while protecting it from ideological highwaymen and eschatology. It's an elegant idea, one of the cornerstones of the modern day. In short, it holds that durable, lasting peace is possible when the major powers are capable of inflicting unacceptable and irreversible destruction upon one another. Because no rational state is willing to accept the risk of such a calamity befalling its own people. All powers are incentivized to de-escalate conflicts before they reach the point of no return. For the most part, it has. The world is certainly not free of violent conflict. But in the modern era, we have made great strides to reduce its frequency, duration, and severity. It was established by many of the same founding party members who elected Dolores Day, and who, after her assassination, dedicated their lives to the continuation of her political and intellectual projects. The communists say they are the next dialectical step in an inexorable spiral of progress. They claim to have resolved the inherent contradictions of moralism and believe they're just one revolution away from establishing a humanist paradise. The fascists say they are both the ancestors of and the successors to Dolorianism. In other words, they believe that Dolores Day's reign simply represents a glorious phase of expansion within a greater Franco-Nigerian heritage. They criticize the Dolorian project for accepting and integrating new peoples rather than forcefully subjugating them. And then, there are our prodigal cousins, the Vazan Social Democrats, who hold our same values and have even adopted many of our same rights and iconography, though they persist in rejecting the umbrella of moralism. For some reason, it's the Social Democrats she sounds most exasperated with. We don't resent them. It's more that we are disappointed that they have chosen to emphasize certain points of dispute over broad areas of accord. She speaks of them like a family member she's abandoned hope of ever maturing. But of course, they also remain dependable partners in a number of centrist governing coalitions. The RCM exists under the umbrella of the coalition, just as the coalition exists under the umbrella of the moral inter. At the same time, the RCM is not exactly off the position. It's our understanding that the RCM's organizational structure predates the coalition. We believe it may even be modeled after the communal brigades themselves. But in a practical sense, it's the responsibility of the ethics divisions to ensure that both organizations are working towards the same ends. One now committed to upholding moralist values. Strained, isn't it? History is a river coursing ever downward. 
Occasionally, its course is redirected in mysterious and unexpected ways. Let us answer your question with a question. Have you ever seen evening fall over the old town of Atbeshterashi? The heart of the city, the old town, is a district composed of weather marks, comprising thousands of columns and arcades arranged around a series of grand plazas. During the day, it's a beautiful sight, equal to any of the great cities of Pericarnassus. But as the sun sets, the shadows cast by those columns and arcades wave together to form an intricate ombre lattice. When you see it, you suddenly understand. It was all built for you, for this very moment. The name at Vesperoskit means evening comes. For you, for all of humanity. Not only that, but you, you are also part of the centuries long plan. When you cross one of the open plazas, your own shadows is effortlessly woven into the great lattice work, a deliberate synthesis of humanity, art, and the natural world. It is possible. We grew up there. We have seen the lattice with our own eyes. She was. There are even those who say that at this verace it summoned Dolores Day. Or that it was built in preparation for her, centuries before her arrival. That's why the old town is sometimes called the ceremonial heart of humanity. Of course, such a city does not spring from nowhere, nor does it endure without effort. Its construction was the work of many generations, and its preservation is an equally monumental responsibility. About 3,000 years. It does, doesn't it? And yet, there remains a great deal to be done in that span. This is it. Final question time. I can already feel our alignment getting shaky. Is everything all right? We love the connection for a moment. We can assure you, it is coming as soon as possible. Oh, most likely. Though, of course, it depends on the continuum. You must understand, the modern inter is responsible for ensuring the continuance and flourishing of mankind for the next 3,000 years. The planning division must account for a great many possible outcomes and chances. Fortunately, we have contingency spreads to help guide our decision making. Of course, there is no one spread that can reasonably account for all these possible events. But at least, we are able to prepare for the most likely eventualities. It's not really our area of expertise, but we can try to explain. Picture a smooth hill made from fresh dirt. Now, if you stand atop this hill and put a glass of water over it, what will happen? <sighs> You're thinking about this metaphor too literally. The point is that we know only that the water will run down, but not what course it will take. If we place a rock in the water's path, will it divert to the left or to the right? We cannot say, but we may predict which way it might run in either event. That is the essence of the idea. You might also imagine these spreads as a kind of tree, with every juncture representing a different event, and every branch representing a different timeline. Not exactly. No one can know the future. But with contingency spreads, it is possible to predict what the future realities might reasonably look like. But we shouldn't overstate their importance. They are simply one of many tools used by the moral intern to set policy. Well, yes, just as some events are less probable than others. While we expect the vast majority of realities will fall within a normal confidence interval, there must necessarily be some that fall outside that range as well. Hmm. 
Who are we to say? We are only a psychic signaler, not a metaphysician. This is the only reality we have ever known. So, how can we judge how reasonable it might be compared to any other? The key, we believe, is to be open to meaning, even amidst great uncertainty. But now, we are only speaking for ourselves. Well, yes. Just as some events are less probable than others. It may be. We are only a psychic signaler, not a metaphysician. The key, we believe, is to be open to meaning, even amidst great uncertainty. But now, we... Well, yes. Just... Of course. We are only a psychic signaler, not a metaphysician. The key, we believe, is to... That's impossible to say. It may be that Ravishal has a great role to play, or no role at all. That is the nature of contingency. But didn't the Wild Pines representative say that Revachal would resolve history? You must understand, when we speak of contingency spreads, we are talking about the most fantastically complex data visualization human beings are capable of producing, with thousands of events, from elections and wars to natural disaster or scientific miracles, and millions of possible outcomes. It may be the case that, under certain scenarios, Revachal is vitally important, as it was during the collision landings in OA. It may also be the case, in many other equally plausible scenarios, that Revachal is simply another once great city, like countless others throughout history. Perhaps, perhaps not. The world is full of great cities that have resolved the questions of their time. La Shert, Red Fort, our own home of Advesterashi. All major cities in EPIS align nations. You can't help but notice. It's even possible the cities that will resolve the questions of the future have not been founded yet. For this reason, responsibility for developing contingency spreads is only assigned to highly trained analysts working with advanced radio computers and a steady supply of drones. Even though we are only a second signaler, we can tell you with great certainty that there is no contingency spread for you, Officer Santa. She, she, she knows perfectly well where they are. They've got one for everybody, all coded and filed away in a vast labyrinth beneath Isherwood. The modern intern is up there. There is no secret vault of files between Isherwood or La Chert or anywhere else, because that is not the modern intern's purpose. Our concerns exist on the scale of decades, centuries and millennia. Sometimes, we say the moral intern worries about the future so that normal people may worry about today. It is a work in progress, but it is also the best way that humanity has found to spy. It's been a long winter, long and cold. Bad news, Norman. Signal's going down. These waves are receding. Time to let go. Officer Sunset, are you there? Officer Sunset, please repeat. Your signal. Er kann doch auch nächstes Jahr zur Akademie gehen. Nothing important, bad connection. Going to update the receiving frequency. And the line goes quiet. Took a dark turn there. Told you we shouldn't have gone and aligned ourselves with the big bad. Gonna need some seriously hardcore ablutions to wash this shit off. Now come down here and give me an hand with this gear, would ya? The cold bronze tickles your inner thighs. Your legs have grown stiff. You've been up here quite a while. You look around. Most everyone has already gone home for the night. It's really just you and the speed freak left. About time. You grab that amp, forget the cables. Need to leave some evidence of our antenna to inspire future generations. Well, cop man, we've repaid the favour. This is cements the cop our poor alliance. Sure, you have to say.
ใจแดงแดงไปสู้วัน I'll put this tech away later Think there's an extra cancer In case you wanna grab a souvenir or something